So at first glance, it would appear that my lychee tree has suffered zero frost damage from this winter. And you'd be right. This lychee tree, here we are in a j late January, actually January 27th. And as you can see, my Mauritius lychee has done very good. As a matter of fact, the uh, even the winds that we had haven't, hasn't bothered my Mauritius lychee. Um, as you can see, some of the leaves uh, from the fall are still in a state of rapidly growing, um, which is not ideal. You want them to harden off before the winter. But since our winter was not that cold this year, they weren't damaged. Um, you guys, most, most of you guys know this tree I featured on a number of videos. And as a matter of fact, I did an air layer. For those of you that don't know what an air layer is, lychees are generally reproduced by air layering, that is, uh, making a cut in a branch, wrapping it with moss or potting soil, and then wrapping it out with plastic and then allowing it to grow. After a couple months, you remove the branch, pot it up into a pot with well-draining soil, and in a couple more months, it's ready to put into the ground. This guy I did about six, six months ago, and it's looking really sharp. Um, I may have to do a little bit of trimming, because as you can see, it has a V in like a crotch in the uh, main trunk. I don't know if that'll affect it in any way, shape, or form. I don't know why I even did it that way, but we'll see when the time comes to plant it. So I don't know where I'm gonna plant it, but hey, <laughs> I, at least I got another lychee tree. Hey, anyway, I, I wanna let everybody know, when it comes to lychees, especially the Mauritius lychee, make sure you plant it up against the south facing wall. You wanna protect it as much as you can from those north winds. Mauritius is a very brittle type of wood and will split. And this tree itself, every time it got over the top of the wall, it, the wind would blow it down. And this year it's hardened off very well. And so I don't think I'm gonna have any problem, but you wanna protect it from the winds for the first couple of years. Another trick that I can't overemphasize, and that is make sure to put some really good thick mulch down. Lychees really like that uh, mycorrhiza growing on their roots and much like an avocado tree and they really, really need an acid based soil. Sulpomag helps acidify the soil uh, and they really don't like or need a lot of fertilizer with nitrogen in it. So with winter coming to a rapid close, overall, this Mauritius lychee tree here in Modesto, California, zone 9B is doing really good. A lot of you may say, Jeff, winter's not over. You could still get nailed by the freezes. Well, here in Modesto, our freeze-free period is about 310 days, and that's already over with. We occasionally get a frost or freeze in February, but it's rare. And if we do, it's only like down to 31 or so. So I'm looking forward to a new season, a new crop of Mauritius lychees. You guys, watch this channel. Make sure to hit that like, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and you'll get all the updates on this tree and some of the other trees that I grow here in Modesto, California. You have a wonderful day.